Life on Earth is incredibly diverse. with millions of different species inhabiting every corner of the planet. To better study and understand living organisms, scientists classify them into groups based on their characteristics. One of the broadest levels of classification is the kingdom. For example, plants are grouped together in the plant kingdom because they can produce their own food through photosynthesis, using sunlight to generate energy. Animals, on the other hand, belong to the animal kingdom because they are multicellular, move independently, and consume other organisms for food. But not all life fits neatly into these two groups. Today, we're going to take a closer look at a unique and often misunderstood kingdom, the fungi kingdom. For centuries, fungi were mistakenly classified as plants. At first glance, some fungi, like mushrooms, seem to resemble plants. They grow from the ground, remain rooted in place, and can even have structures that look similar to flowers. However, as scientists studied fungi more closely, they discovered fundamental differences that set them apart. Unlike plants, fungi do not perform photosynthesis. Instead, Fungi are decomposers, breaking down organic material and absorbing nutrients from their surroundings. This ability makes fungi essential to life on Earth. Recycling nutrients and sustaining ecosystems. Types of fungi. Fungi come in many different shapes and sizes. Some are tiny and invisible to the human eye, while others grow into large, complex structures like mushrooms. Despite their differences, fungi can be grouped into a few main types based on how they look and where they are found. Mushrooms, bracket fungi, and puffballs. The most familiar fungi are mushrooms, which pop up in forests, fields, and even in our gardens after rain. These fungi often have a stalk and a cap, and they grow from the ground or on decaying wood. Some mushrooms, like portobello mushrooms, are edible, while others, like the fly agaric with its red cap and white spots, are poisonous. Other large fungi include bracket fungi, which grow on trees and look like shelves sticking out of the trunk. And puffballs, which release a cloud of spores when they burst open. Molds. Molds are a type of fungi that grow in warm, damp places. You might have seen mold growing on bread, fruit, or even forgotten leftovers in the fridge. Molds look like fuzzy patches and can be green, blue, black, or white. While some molds cause food to rot, Others are useful. Penicillium mold is used to make antibiotics that fight infections.
Mold is also used in food production. It is used to make blue cheese, where it creates its distinctive flavor and texture. It also plays a role in fermenting soy sauce, breaking down soybeans and wheat to develop its rich taste. Yeasts. Yeasts are microscopic fungi that are too small to see without a microscope. Unlike mushrooms or molds, they do not grow in long strands or have large structures. Instead, they are single-celled organisms that live in moist environments. Yeasts are important in making bread, beer, and wine. In bread, yeast produces gas that makes the dough rise, giving bread its soft texture. Fungi that live with other organisms. Some fungi don't live on their own, but instead form special relationships with other living things. Lichens. These are a mix of fungi and tiny algae or bacteria. The fungi provide protection, while the algae or bacteria make food through photosynthesis. Lichens can survive in extreme places, like attached to rocks, tree trunks, and even the frozen Arctic. Mycorrhizal fungi. These fungi grow on plant roots and help plants absorb water and nutrients from the soil. In return, the fungi get some of the food that the plant makes. These fungi are found underground in forests and help trees grow strong and healthy. Fungal reproduction. How fungi grow and spread. Fungi do not grow from seeds like plants. Instead, they reproduce using spores, tiny dust-like particles that can grow into new fungi. Some fungi also reproduce by budding, a process where a small part of the fungus grows and breaks off to form a new one. Spores. Most fungi grow by making millions of spores, which are so small they can float in the air or land on new surfaces. Mushrooms have special structures under their caps called gills, where spores are made. When the spores are ready, they drop into the air and are carried by wind or water to new places. And under the right conditions, each spore has the potential to grow into a new mushroom. Molds grow tiny stalks with round tops, like little lollipops. Inside these tops, spores develop and, when released, spread to new places, like on food or damp surfaces. Puff balls are fungi that store spores inside a round shape. When touched or disturbed, they release a cloud of spores into the air. Once spores from mushrooms, molds, or puffballs land in the right environment, usually somewhere damp and warm, they start growing into new fungi. Budding. How yeast reproduces. Not all fungi make spores. Yeast, for example, reproduces by budding. A tiny bump, or bud, forms on the yeast cell, grows bigger, and then breaks off to become a new yeast cell. This helps yeast grow quickly, which is why it's useful for making bread and other foods. Fungi as decomposers, nature's recyclers. Fungi play a crucial role in nature by breaking down dead plants and animals. Without fungi, the world would be covered in piles of dead leaves, fallen trees, and animal remains. 
Instead, fungi help clean up the environment and return nutrients to the soil, making them available for new plants to grow. How do fungi break things down? Fungi don't eat food the way animals do. Instead, they release special chemicals, called enzymes, that break down dead material into simpler substances. Once the material is broken down, the fungi absorb the nutrients and use them to grow. Mushrooms, growing on fallen logs, break down the wood. Molds on fruit and bread break down the food as they grow. Other fungi decompose dead leaves, animal remains, and even waste. Why are fungi important as decomposers? Fungi help keep ecosystems balanced. Without them, dead material would pile up, and nutrients would get trapped in waste instead of being reused. Decomposing fungi help plants grow by returning nutrients to the soil. They keep forests and fields clean by breaking down dead material. And they support other life forms by recycling energy through the food chain. Fungi may not seem as exciting as animals or plants, but they are one of the most important life forms on Earth. Thanks to fungi, Nutrients are constantly being reused, allowing new life to grow. Along with being super important to ecosystems all over the globe, fungi are also significant to people. In the next video, Fungi and Humans, we'll look at how fungi can be both helpful and a hindrance in our everyday lives. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching.